Grief and outrage at a street corner in the San Fernando Valley today. That's where a family held a vigil for a young woman killed by a speeding driver. It happened in North Hills on Woodley Avenue and Perinthia Street. CBS 2's Jake Reiner spoke with the family. My heart, you know, is broken because I'm never going to see my daughter again. For three months, Nancy Tapia has been clamoring for answers, trying to fathom how her daughter, 33-year-old Bianca Tapia, lost her life in a car crash in March. Justice for Bianca! Nancy organized this vigil protest at the site of the accident Saturday because 26-year-old Manuel Sandoval, the driver of the pickup truck that slammed into Bianca, only spent a few nights in custody before being cited and released, according to the LAPD. He's out there living life. I haven't had time to mourn properly because uh, I, wa I want to know what happened to my daughter. Bianca's sister, Giselle Uriostegui, I was the last person to speak to her, remembers the evening of March 2nd well because Bianca was also her roommate. And I had just gotten groceries for us to make dinner and I was going to wait around for her to come home so we can um, start cooking and she just never came home. Bianca was out running errands. Around 7 p.m., police say Sandoval, driving his 1999 Chevy pickup, blew a red light and was speeding southbound on Woodley Avenue. Bianca, driving a white Nissan sedan, was trying to make a left on Parthenia Street. The crash forced the pickup to overturn in the Nissan to careen into the sidewalk in a light pole. Both drivers were taken to the hospital, but Bianca was the only one who didn't make it. Police suspect Sandoval may have been driving under the influence. It's tough to swallow this pill. I feel that somehow, some way, Bianca will get justice. The only memento from the crash, a hubcap from Bianca's Nissan, now a piece of art, an attempt to turn an ugly reminder into a beautiful tribute. For us to lose our, our rock, our diamond in the family that really held us together, that glued us all, it hurts a lot. Bianca was a community skills instructor in Thousand Oaks. She worked with kids and young adults with autism. We reached out to the DA's office for more information, and they told us they contacted law enforcement for further investigation before making a filing decision. I'm Jake Reiner, CBS 2 News.